Support for this podcast comes from the patrons at patreon.com slash FML FPL. Miss Walsh. First proper preseason, Bahad. We're fully back. No turning back. No matter how badly things go for us, we're in. We're in it now. We're in. <laughs> when is turning back ever an option? It's it's been entertained, but it's yeah, not an option. Know. So this episode, we're going to be going through position by position, discussing just the premium price players at each position. Next week, we'll do the middle tier price wise. Two weeks from now, we'll do the cheap guys at every position. That's how we do our preseason shit. Um, yeah. And yeah. I guess just before we move on, I thought of this actually earlier today, so I'm freestyling this. But before we move on, last season's preseason, we did a four beginners only episode. Um, if I was more prepared, I'd have like the episode number, but you could just scroll back to, you know, before last season. It was just like a half hour, absolute basics of the game, just for new players, or if you have like friends or family who are new and want to try a fiel or whatever, you want to steal their money in a money league. I mean, it's a year old, but I think everything still basically stands. So yeah, I just wanted to shout that out. Cool. Um, all right, so let's go. I think we're starting talking about the well, the main talking point from the fixtures, right? It's City and United, and they're most likely blanking game week one, and we got a lot of questions about it, so I figured we just bang this out. So shorts for Salah, what the fuck do we do now? Do we run with no City or United? Do we use hits? Uh, Chuck Norwich with the schedule being released, do we get three City and United assets bench them game week one? How much money are you happy to bench? You know, all all the normal stuff. Early wild card. How many weeks can you go without City? All that stuff. Everyone's asking. Do you have gut yeah. feels? Um, I mean, definitely go without any of the premium assets. I think that you're asking for trouble there if you're benching someone when it'll prevent you from getting someone like OBS, right? Mm. But, you know, I was playing around a lot with Fodinho and Greenwood and Laporte, like one, two, or probably not all three, but you know, one or two guys that are more cheap, that are more edge of the team that you could maybe be able to hide mm. and just throw an extra four or five defender in there than you wouldn't normally love to do, but something you could do. And I think, you know, to me, like Mo, Werner, Ziek have been like the stables in my team. And then I'm looking at sort of those other three or four attacking spots as like, what am I doing here? And, you know, I think if you start with zero city or United, that's fine. But you want to think at least in your head of what's your plan. Like, are you dead ending to like two game weeks and then wild card? And then you're going to really just try and exploit those first two game weeks, which is totally fine. And I'm seeing a lot of like viable strategies that way. Or are you, you know, trying to hedge and pick players who have games and you think will get points, but you could also, you know, maybe save and then use a triple move for minus four to get in some city players for like OBS out, like Sun out or OBS and Kane out, something like that, yeah. right? So yeah. I think those are the things that, I mean, anyone in, in, in the Discord, like that's what yeah. everyone's been sort of talking yeah, about. Yeah. And I mean, that's sort of my initial, initial thought about it. What do, do you, you think? Do you have like a strong feeling... I mean, we're weeks away, but do you have a strong feeling of where how you'll probably handle it, do you think? Or is it too early? Because I, uh, pers- yeah. I personally don't. Like, I've tinkered a little bit without City and United guys just to get a feel for it, but I don't, I'm not feeling, like, definitive right now. I'm like, this is how I'm going to handle it. Yeah, I mean, so far, I have, like, two very different teams, mm-hmm. and, you know, one has Trent and four fives in defense. Mm-hmm. And that team also has Greenwood and Foden. So I would just hide them and I would do like a 5-3-2 thing. Yeah. And then put them back in and I would be in a 3-5-2 and then I would do like OBS and 
that third cheap, that, that second cheap forward out for, you know, Kevin or Raz right. or Kuhn right. or whatever. So that's one option. The other one I had is the more like conservative, long, medium, long-term team with very heavy defense with like Trent, Van Dyke, Laporte, and, and Doc, Doherty. That's a lot of action in the back. Yeah, <laughs> and it would be more of like a 4-4-2 so, right. you know, that, and in that case, I wouldn't have any City or United attackers. I would probably only have Laporte, who I would hide, and I would just play, like, Mitchell or something that first yeah. week. And and then I would just, you know, still have Werner, Werner, Mo, and Ziyech, and then those other couple spots are, like, I'm not, I have no idea yet. But those are the two sort of, like, structures I'm juggling between. Yeah. And I don't like one more than the other yet. I'm I'm not sure. Right. And I, yeah, and there's also the early wild card, I think, is very viable too. I've, I've, it's starting to feel like one of those things where as long as you have a plan, you're kind of okay. And there's not yeah. one definitely better way to do it or whatever. Yeah. 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 Unlike okay. post restart, where it's like, this is definitely one to do the things. Right? Right, this is right, definitely. I right. maximize no your bench or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, well, I think that's basically done. I mean, this is obviously going to be recurring, and yeah, we'll, we'll know more, and we'll, we'll talk more, about it yeah, more, all that yeah. shit. So, all right, yeah. so let's start at the back, right? That's usually how we do it. Yeah, we just do goalies. We we start with the shittiest thing, and then we work our way up to <laughs> yeah, more fun something things. to build into. Yeah, we need to get going. So, um. We're so doing, two, six we're doing million five, goalies. five and up, right? Yeah, start with the yeah, six Yeah, five, five and up. So we have two six O's. We have Alice Swan and, and Eddie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Ederson is sort of the biggest joke of life that he had 16 cleans last year. And he's so far down in the points for goalies. I mean, it's the just... year before he had 20 and six yeah. bonus points and 20 cleans. <laughs> 58 yeah, I mean, saves like at least that year he had he was up there like he was like second i think he had one almost 170 Allison, points which would have yeah. yeah which would have taken him up to like second to pope had 170 last year but he gets no saves no save points no bonus so and takes a city slot it's just and takes a city slot. Not an option. it's t- yeah not really an option allison though what do you think about allison at six i mean we've been Pretty ho hum, no, four five and four zero oh, like all the way, and I think that's right because I think value wise you're never gonna get the value from the expensive keepers, but it'd be very surprising to me if he doesn't finish number one keeper. I mean that's why he's six, and if he doesn't miss like yeah. ten matches again, he'll be number one yeah. again. Um, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah I definitely. He'll probably definitely. be around twenty cleans, and he'll be good. Yeah, I definitely agree. It's just, it's the same thing with him of the Liverpool spot. Like, you'd rather have the defender. You know, you'd rather have yeah, either I mean, Trent. I mean, we have Trent, but you'd rather have like Van Dyke or Rabo and but you know, the attacking it, slot. It is close. I mean, 18, 19, 21 cleans, you finish on 176. Like, that's kind of around where I feel Van Dyke finishes every year, right? Yeah, but the difference between the difference being between? able to... What's the difference between? The difference is a 4-5 defender gets like 80 points. And a 4-5 goalkeeper gets you like within 30 points. 40, yeah. Yeah. That's so the that's, that's why the value is bad. That's yeah, the value, the, the value, the value. Yeah. So we're just... Yeah. Yeah. It's not... not this section is not particularly interesting because we're not really into any of these options, right? Yeah. But I mean, the five fives have some names. Like I'm still seeing Pope in a lot of teams, and it's surprising to me. It's it's it is surprising. It really he, is surprising he, because he's number ahead. one right now ownership. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. The the five five is what he should be priced at because he gets you know over 150 points each year, which is basically a top five. Like yeah. that's what he's gonna do. Yeah. But at five five. You know, you still watch Burnley and, you know, they keep a few cleans by the absolute skin of their teeth. Every, and every clean. Every, like a, every yeah. well, yeah. But, you know, some more than others. And like, you know, he yeah, had 15 yeah. this year. And then a couple of years ago when he played the same amount of minutes, almost he had like 11, right? And, you know, if he dips, if they lose just a few, which, you know, is, is 
it's more likely that they lose clean sheets than a team like Liverpool because they're fucking Burnley and all they do is camp in their box. So like a bounce yeah. here, a bounce there. And they, like Liverpool yeah. are don right? So it's that's why we're like looking at this or why I look at them a little bit differently with the regression possible. And, you know, they still have good underlying defense stats, but like it's fucking Burnley. So yeah. Five five's a lot. It's just it's just a lot. You you know, paying five five for a goalkeeper when they play on Burnley, who's gonna finish you know tenth, just feels so. I mean, there's just no upside. I just feel, I just seen yeah. No one seventy is like the best he'll ever do. He'll ever do He's fifteen ever. cleans, penalty yeah. save, ton of saves, good bonus. Like yeah. that's his peak. He's never doing yeah, this a literal yeah. minute of the entire yeah. season. Like that's, that's a good yeah. That's a good point, and that's also what we talk about value of you know. You don't want to buy high. You you know you right, want to, you right, want to right. buy low. So you're right. buying if you're buying Pope here at five five. I don't know. It's tough. Don't know. It's a tough one for me. Yeah, I don't know. So other other five five options. We have Schmikes. We have Rui. I mean, both have so many issues. To me, to me, their biggest issues are just they're like the most expensive routes into the defense almost. Like when you have five zero and four, I mean, Lester has like three, four, five, everyone's dead or suspended or, but they have all these four or five options. And then Wolves have like Cody and shit at five. And Vinagre. Just does, you, you have Vinny, Vinny at four or five, even if Gulam doesn't go. But, you know, that is enough for me to just never yeah. consider them. If just they're more option. expensive than defenders, the, if the goalkeeper is more expensive than defenders, the goal you want to be is the, is the cheapest route. Like that should be the cheapest route into the defense. Yep, yep, yep. And then Hendo um, is still on United, so whatever. Yeah. Dea, well, I mean, he's ruined so many seasons for me. He's just well. So what do you think about Loris? Because he's the only five five that I'm like moderately interested in. The reason if, if I'm talking that you to just anyone said about before it. is the reason why I'm not interested is because Dyer's five O's. Okay. Maybe Davis is five. Yeah. I don't know. He's good. They, I mean, they're good, but I'd rather just go with the fives, I think. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's never he gotten over one, bad. like one, mid Bone, 140s. 150 is never got, yeah. The That's, bonus is a problem for him because his pass, he doesn't have pass completion. Like he doesn't have any bonus yeah, things I, that are good in the at game. At some point, they must have changed the bonus system in the 10 years or whatever he's been in the league, but. Because, like, he used to be that guy. He used to be, like, the sweeper, like, almost Ederson style, like, out of the box, intercepting, passing. But he's not that guy anymore at all. So, yeah, he doesn't really get those kind of bones. Yeah. I th- I mean, the 5-5 five, five bracket just... The premium goalies are just... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really know what the conversation is around that's good. Because I haven't seen it yet. I mean... You look at someone like Ryan, who we've both been on for a while, right? Like, Brighton were fucking bad last season. But he played every minute and still got 135. Like, that's Which close. is basically what Loris does. It's close to Loris's best ever FPL season. <laughs> yeah. In his I mean, life. it's pretty similar to what De Gea gets every year, except for that one insane season. Yeah, it, so it's just, that's what we're talking about, how it's yeah. just not worth all right, let's let's go to defense because yeah, goalkeeper is not we fun. Yeah. Um, so there's so many defenders five five and up. So this is the one. Should thing we do it by this... team or something? Or... Yeah, I think we'll maybe we'll kind of do a little. Ha- yeah, okay. definitely by team. But I think that's the one thing with these like some sections and some of the episodes are going to be longer than others based yeah. on position, like based on the volume of players. So. You know, like when we do the mid-price defenders and we're really only doing like five O's, you know, that'll be shorter. So yeah, this yeah. is going to be a longer defend, but whatever. So, yeah, so by team, you want to just go with Liverpool. So what do you, what do you right. see? We they got have the all three, the, three amigos. Have, all of their guys are five, five and up. Even Matip yeah. and Gomez. So Trent, Robbo, VVD, Matip, Gomez. We got questions on it, so I'll just go there. Jono, is VVD a better option than Robbo now with the new left-back signing? CBE said, are we worried at all about Trent and Robbo's minutes? Klopp's comments about mass minutes shortening their careers a worry. And do it and see Tyke. <laughs> he said that. And do it and see Tyke. Said, How do you feel? He said that? Klopp he said, said that? like, yeah, they can't play mass this many minutes. minutes. It'll, it'll shorten their careers. Um, and then do it and see Tyke said, How do you guys feel about Robbo versus VVD versus Jomez for second pool defender? So that's assuming they have Trent. Yeah, I don't really want to waste time talking about Trent like he's in. So we talked so what about you... last pod how he's underpriced yeah. and great. So whatever, that's yeah. fine. So Robbo, what do you what are you thinking about that? Robbo Van Dyke Jomez at five five. Well, so 
I'll just start with the left back. I mean, he is definitely a backup. There's he's the young new Greek guy. Yeah, yeah, like he's young. Yeah. He's never played in any of the top leagues. Like he's raw. We've seen Klopp, Pep, those kind of managers buy guys and then who don't play a minute for like six months. That's his job for now. He's just learn the system and and be a backup. Um, yeah, I mean, we were just saying right how like those guys we were just talking about they that's their best season right that's like Pope's peak season like blah 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 like. I wonder if Robbo has another level. In my head, I don't think he does. He's just going to consistently be great, but he doesn't have, like, the Trent next level of, like, oh, my God, he's adding, like, set pieces and goals. Like, that's not him. So, for me, I think Robbo versus VVD is fine either way. I mean, they're close close enough in points, and that point five could help you do something else with your team, I think. I think that's fine. I, I I honestly don't think there's that big of a difference. Yeah, I more more pretty much agree. I I think the the point five means a lot when our budget's a hundred. Yeah, like, and it means I don't more now than later. Yeah, than it does in game week twenty when we're like, oh, our team value is one oh yeah. nine or like what fucking whatever. Yeah, I like Robbo more. I uh, agree. I don't think he has a higher level. I mean, he doesn't really shoot. Yeah. He overperforms his XA by a lot every year. I mean, playing on Liverpool will help you do that. But, you know, he does create a lot of big chances. And he's definitely good at crossing. He's got some corners. Like, you know, he'll yeah. lock in a one or two there. But I I think that like I'd ra- some in some teams I see them with, like, Robbo. And then they have, you know, a 4-0. And it really should be, like, a 4-5 guy to solidify. Right. And I'm like, just get Van Dyke And yeah. if you wild card in game week five and you're, t- you know, then maybe you do Rob, But... It's so close to me. Yeah. I mean, Van Dyke. Yeah. I mean, Van Dyke, he, he could finish with like a goal in a year and I wouldn't be that surprised, which is the only thing that I'm a little concerned about with him because that really makes him in that like elite echelon of, of Mm. defenders is he scores, you know, those four goals and those are worth like fucking 30 points because he gets all the points when he scores. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he had, I don't know why that would go down. I mean, his numbers are very consistent. He he had 14 shots on target last year. Yeah. That's not a lot of shots. And what did he, he put in four? how many goals? Five goals. Five. Like that's. Yeah. He went over by (laughs) 2.04. Yeah, that's like that's what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. Like there are defenders that have 25 shots on goal and have one goal. You know, yeah, like yeah. that happens every year. Like fucking Duffy or some shit. I don't know. So that that's a I little just, thing I just there. I feel but... like headers are weird and like yeah, they're weird. The fact that he's winning the same amount, right? It's like yeah. shots in total are basically the same. I'm just yeah. like that's yeah, probably yeah. The same. Sometimes they're off target. They have the bar. You know, I mean, yeah. I'm yeah. just trying to just yeah, yeah totally. say little things. You know, I'm definitely nitpicking totally, here. Totally. But yeah, I, I like Van Dyke at six five a lot. I, I think that you yeah. know they're both accurately priced. I I was expecting these prices for Robbo and Van Dyke, and in the hundred million budget, I, I definitely prefer Van Dyke and put the point five somewhere else. But yeah, that's what I'm on you, currently. Yeah. yeah, but a lot of people just love Robbo and like he's an attacker and he's fun to watch. It's you know, he's so a lot more fun to watch than Van Dyke. Fun. And if that's yeah, yeah like if. If you're valuing that, it's like, yeah, totally. Like, should, no problem. should value yeah. that. Like, yeah, Liverpool no, are on TV should. all the time. Yeah. If you're going to yeah, be yeah, watching yeah. all the matches, then yeah. get the guys that are yeah. more fun and better. Yeah, yeah, make you happy. And then, jo- I mean, Jomez is just... The, the problem for me with Jomez is he has zero attempts of goals or assists ever. The, or bonus, really. I'm, so I'm I, even a step before that. Jomez, Mata, because I've gone there a lot in the past because I was just Jomez trying... Jomez five, though. Yeah, just trying to get the, the value there. But the thing that, that... Our motto for the season is we're not spending transfers on Defender, right? When one yeah, of them sorta. loses their spot or whatever and Gomez and Mata have both picked up like little niggles and knocks throughout their careers, like that's a nightmare. Yeah, that but the, so the one thing with shitty. that though, I, I'm a lot less worried about taking. I'm I'm v- much more open to taking risk with the game week one team because we're gonna wild card. Like, yeah, you yeah. know we're not holding that's this fair. thing until fucking December. So yeah, that's fair. But no, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, Gomez, that that second spot's a problem. So, yeah. so what do you think about having two? Like, are you do you care that much, or I, do you think you definitely want two defenders? I've had two and had no problems getting other guys I want in different positions. Yeah. So okay. obviously I'm happy, but 
you know, there are definitely people who, like, are stretching for that extra premium attacker or whatever. Or, like, they don't like Werner, and so they want another 11 guy or whatever, and it's just, you know, then then you need to scrape. What do you think about the fixtures? I mean, they have they have Chelsea and Arsenal gaming two and three. Do you care? Do you look at them for Liverpool defense? I mean, because I'm again right. A lot of people are trying to look more short term and with wild yeah, card I, like off game week one. That's what I was going to say. I think for you to not go I, two because they're kind of trickier. Yeah, I haven't looked with like from the perspective of an early wild carder. This will happen soon because I have to consider that I probably will use my wild card kind of early and then you want the short term fixtures but every fixture surrounding those two is so good unless you're wild carding two or three like yeah. for just specifically for city and united guys then I think you ignore them or ignore the fixtures but yeah. if you're wild carding anywhere past game week two or three just get the liverpool guys like it doesn't matter yeah okay like arsenal is a pretty decent pretty, clean sheet yeah, fixture that's okay Chelsea's really bad. Yeah. But then, like, what could yeah. happen? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, should we just go to city? Chelsea or oh, City? Chelsea? Yeah, sure. City. Let's do City next. Okay, City. So they have um, 6 0 Walker, 6 0 Mendy, 6 0 Laporte, and then a bunch of 5 5 too. <laughs> yeah. They just kind of didn't know what to do with them, huh? Yeah, it seems really weird to me. I, I think Laporte's underpriced. I, I think he should have been 6'5". I don't really get why, yeah. because he's injured, they dinged him. Yeah, I because, guess that's why. Yeah. But that's dumb, right? Like, that doesn't no, make yeah, sense. No, yeah, that's... I mean, that's... To pat so ourselves on the back, that's kind of where we've been since post-mortem, is, like, who's injury-prone and therefore underpriced? Yeah, and I mean, saying he's injury, yeah, I, I could see that. But either way, I think six for him is is just underpriced, and yeah. I like him a lot. That's fair. Yeah, and, I haven't considered him. Yeah, I've been looking at him a lot more as I like kind of absorbed and, and processed the prices a lot more. I think I think he's a great great pick. Um, what do you Mendy, think about like why. lacking your? Sorry to cut you off. What do you think about like? the limiting your positional flexibility with city attackers. Like, does that concern you at all? Or is that like, no, the main reason why it doesn't concern me is that all their players are fucking 30 million. So I'm not likely going to be able to afford three attackers. I mean, I could go Mares Foden premium. Yeah, That's what I was thinking. It's like one of them starts three out of the first four. That's a guy you want to jump on. Right. Yeah, I don't. I if if I didn't like Foden so much, you know, like I I love I just love him. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't want to have like more. Yeah, no, I I hear what you're saying. Like I just, number I sixty think nine. That Tommy Doyle starts false nine game week one. Like yeah, right. I think that there isn't other than Aguero. Like there's not a lot of value in this team, and mm-hmm. yeah, there are a lot of good attackers around the league, and you know if yeah. you're. You know, I, and you, you can't captain more than one player, so I don't think you need more than one primo unless if you're just trying to, you know, do that thing where they have some really good fixtures and you want to pile on, which they don't. I mean, they have really, really bad fixtures for a while till basically December. So I I like the wow, defender there. Wow, they are there. really bad. I haven't yeah, really they're, looked at them. And Horrendous. we'll talk about, yeah, we'll talk about Kuhn later because it, it's a little problematic to me with Kuhn. But ah. I like... I like the idea of Laporte just as a steady hand because they're, you know, they're going to, they're going to clean 50% of the ga- their games. They always do. Yeah, Cause they're just soon. so good. And I like, you know, Laporte just as that steady, steady option when you can't afford, you know, we're coming off the end of the season, right? That's what we remember. We're like, Oh yeah, we had like Kevin was underpriced. So we had Kevin and then we had Raz and we had fucking everyone. Yeah. yeah. But you know, that, that's not what we're doing now, right? In, in the reality of $100 million when they repriced everyone, you know, you, ha- you have to pick who you're going to be able to afford. And, you know, I want three city players, but if you have three city players who are all in attack, then that means you're not having a lot of something else. But if you have Laporte, you know, you could still do, th- do some things. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I like Laporte. And, you know, another person who's been, we've been talking a little bit about in, in Slack is, is Kinsella. Interesting. I I don't really understand how someone sat down and priced Mendy at six and Cancelo at five five. It doesn't make any ridiculously sense. Ridiculously dumb. But you know, Mendy was sitting out in the Champions League games, which are the important games. So maybe you know, end of season, it just took Cancelo the year to figure out what Pep wanted him to which do. Is at 
fucking left back, which sort is of fine, expected because it's yeah. Pep. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if he makes that spot, you know, if he if he plays more and he makes that spot, you know, more his own. Yeah. There, there, are, there are attacking stats in, in him, I think. So that's someone oh, that's, I, I'm not yeah. comfortable starting with for sure because I still just don't know, and it's not worth it because you can't have your 5-5 defender missing games. But just as a name for the future, maybe just to think about, I, I, I could and see he, a world where it's game week five and everyone's like, he's in every team. Yeah, I mean, he has the same expected assist per 90 as Robbo, just to put it in perspective. Yeah, he's, and he's 5-5 he plays, on the best attacking yeah. team in the league. Yeah, when he plays, he's you know he looks like he's got a system. Yeah, shit, so. I mean he was like sixty million for a reason, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, that is very interesting, and no one else is right. I mean, right. I mean Ake could be if he's playing, and they yeah, don't sign plays, the fucking yeah. Napoli guy, Kula yeah. Bali, but which he I mean, he could. I don't yeah, know. Could. I mean, two left footers, he could still do that. And if Ake's playing five five, that's dream. Like that's yeah. way better than Laporte, but. I think that's probably about it. Yeah, they're gonna so, buy. Yeah. I mean, they're still gonna buy. So. Yeah, they're gonna buy. And they even but that's have, the other uh, thing too is if they buy the Koulibaly dude or some other dude, right? Like they're just better. So Laporte yeah, better. six. I'm that's sal- true. I mean, that's I, true. Yeah, I lo- and I just, Koulibaly I just love will be six five or something, right? Because yeah. he'll be um, like ninety million and like yeah, six or six five or yeah. or something like that. But uh, yeah, I just I lo- I love Laporte. I think Laporte six is just a really yeah, good I price. Haven't, I haven't thought about him, but I'm interested. Yeah. I'm I'm fucking with him right now, even though I should be like hosting a podcast or something. But um, let's go Chelsea. They just have Aspil and Alonso. They have not reinforced the defense at all yet, even though they're rumored for Tiago Silva and Chilwell and yeah yep. deeper deals. But as of now, no interest, right? Yeah, I mean. A lot of them are five, which is supposed to technically be, but doesn't matter. But yeah, I'm yeah, just no, talking no. about Aspel and Alonso. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Oh, absolutely not. Alonso yeah. won't be playing for them. And I mean, Reese James is the name that I'm more interested in yeah, this yeah, back yeah. line, but we could talk I about agree. it next week. I and agree. yeah, Aspel at six. I, if they sign Chilwell, I, I don't really get how, where Aspilacuata is playing and how long they can keep carrying his corpse because he's just. Not yeah, I mean, I feel anymore. like he's still good at center back, but he's undersized, so he needs he needs a partner who wins everything, Tiago like Silva's a Tiago not. Silva. Yeah, but he's also small. Yeah, he's like six footers in the yeah. yeah. So I, I don't, don't know. I, don't I just know. don't know where he. Play. I don't know what they're gonna do. I, I mean, frankly, I love when I love when towers goals. just make everyone the same price because the they have no price, fucking like, idea. <laughs> Zuma, <laughs> Christensen, Rudiger, five, James, five, five, Tamori, five. Emerson. Cab- yeah. yeah, Caballero and and, uh, and, <laughs> Kepa, and Kepa, like five, yeah. five, whatever. They're yeah, they're five. just like, just throw Who them in the five, five man. Five. I don't give yeah. a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. Oh my God. The reject, um, the reject bin, it's fucking yeah. ridiculous. I think that the pricing is fine, to be fair, though. It with is Chelsea. fine. I probably would have done the same thing. I maybe would have put Aspel at 5-5 five, because five, he's fucking sucks, but... Emerson at five is so stupid, but yeah, more or less, I think they did okay with Chelsea. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Um, Everton have Dean and Mina. I'm just going by teams with pre- with premium price guys. Yeah. I don't know if this is I okay mean, or not. I, no, this is great. I, Dean at six is very upsetting. I don't understand that. I wish he was 5-5, five, five, yeah. Yeah, they, I mean, they do the thing, and then it prices the player out of the game. It's like, just... Delete them from the fucking player pool. Like no one's paying I, six for Dean. I don't think it's that incorrect. To be fair, what I think it's incorrect for game week one and how Everton ended what? the season. No, like I'm not starting my season with with Dean. But if they buy a midfielder or two and look good under Carlo, he will easily earn six. I think if they're like the eighth best team in the league, which they could be, you know, he's gonna be ridiculously I good. I, I, like he still created. I think that's- Chances this is like right. crazy this last season. Two seasons ago, he had nine attacking returns and 13 cleans, and he didn't get what Doc like. That's his peak, that's his ceiling. 158. He's know. not, there's no, he's, they're not going to keep more than 13 cleans. Yeah, but he could get double digit assists. I think he's that good. I don't know. I mean, he I had don't four have four goals faith. that season, too. I don't know. Yeah. I just think he's, he's really, got really some good. set pieces. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm really just, a, I'm put off by the six. I Me don't too. Know. But I'm saying, like, I think Eight he assists, could earn it. He could it. do 12. I think he could yeah. earn it. Yeah. He could but, earn it but, it, but at the same time, then you're, you're paying for the actual best possible case season to earn. 
Yeah, that, which and is why a, he's not in our Dan McQuan teams. Yeah, he's in, you know, why he's in big. I haven't seen a single team with yeah, him, no. really. No, no. I mean, they they start with pretty good fixtures. Like, at Spurs isn't great, but then they have West Brom, Palace, Brighton. Wow. So, if you're looking at the early wild card, you know, he's definitely someone you could think about there, but he's still pretty expensive. He's still pretty expensive. Wow, I'm and, looking at that right now. Yeah, and be, and then you're looking at the other players he's competing with, right? Like the Liverpool, the other players we were mentioning. I mean, granted, you know, City don't have a game, and we haven't talked about Doc yet. We'll get there. Picture's a little tougher, but I, I just, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm pretty cold on Dean, honestly. Yeah, me too. Me too. I did like, but it was someone that we talked about in the in the precog pod because he did create a lot. I mean, he was the creative outlet for the team. I mean, we Whether just talked about Cancelo and Rabo's stats. Like Dean is right there. Yeah, he is. Yeah, it's just the difference is fucking Everton. Like he's it's Liverpool, City, up and shit Everton. to donkeys, yeah. like exactly, to DCL's. Exactly. You know, DCL gets an X, a fucking XG of like seven to get <laughs> four goals. Like that's what he does. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So that's that's a big difference, but. But yeah, I, I just six is upsetting, but yeah, we'll see. Annoying. We'll see. We'll see. Everton kind of always get the like price hike. I feel like a little. They they get honestly they get treated like every they're year. the yeah they get treated like they're the fifth or sixth best team it's, like knocking on the door yeah, when they're it's, way it's, behind like Leicester and Wolves and shit. Yeah, it's yeah. it's weird. It's just weird. Their pricing every year kind of does me in with some of the names. I mean, I think yeah. like DCL was fine, Rich fine, you know, midfield yeah. fine, but yeah, the defense is is yeah, just why I don't is know. Dean six and Mina five five and Pickford five? It's just like Mina's bad. I don't know. Dude, don't talk about Mina that way. I like Mina. I know. But yeah, I mean, we need to see issues. it from them before we believe any of this shit, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. We need to see them buy. They need to buy. I mean, they still haven't they bought as of Saturday night, you know, August 22nd, whatever it is right now. They need to fucking buy some midfielders. And they gave up three goals in the first half today to, like, Blackpool or Ipswich Town or some fucking team I barely know. Some and you hate to see things like that. I, mean, I don't good. know if Carla. I mean, it was like a B team sort of ish, kind of. But see, you know, they maybe. bought one defender for two hundred forty thousand, so he must be really good. <laughs> Probably in, highly in rated. Good. Um, Leicester have a ton of premium guys. Um, they're all hurt and suspended though, like you said. So there's yeah. I mean, Chilwell. Well, what, why don't we talk about Chilwell at Chelsea at five yeah, five? Yeah. Do you think that's yeah. the thing? Yeah. Could be okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't really like the fact that Frank just doesn't give a fuck at all about defending. It seems like based on their like transfer and just how he sets them up. So I'm I'm worried. I don't know if they're gonna get any better, but he certainly makes them a bit better. Like him just playing ninety every game over Alonzo nightmare Reese out of back. position Emerson. Yeah. Like he's better than all of them, so that that would be good. But um, I don't know. I also just like don't like him and don't think he's that yeah. good. I can see him. So <laughs> I don't really want him. But yeah, I so the Leicester guys. Pereira is a guy that like if he was fit, I'd be like he's in. He is priced correctly and is in that elite fullback yeah. echelon of like yeah, my, I agree. attacking fullback. But he's still hurt and not expected to be ready at all for game week one so i'm not interested at all when's he supposed to actually be back is it like winter the fantasy site says october 1st i don't know at where they get their information but that's really bad that's far um yeah, that's far yeah I, I don't know soy evans is ridiculous. suspended ridiculous person yeah this is just they Nothing. didn't adjust for how fucking horrible they were the second half of the season. No. So. No interest whatsoever. Well, are you really? Yeah. I mean, your rule is just no lesser players to be. No lesser so. all year, for sure. Easy. Easy game. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wolves are good. Doc. Dude, Doc. Also, like, just like Laporte, underpriced. Should have been 6-5. Yeah. Doc is tremendous. Um, I was looking more. I was like. I don't usually look at season stats. Like when I look at stats during the year, I'm looking at like the last four to six games usually because I I think things change the, too like, quickly. Snapshot, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't believe in you know what happened in in you know September is indicative when I'm looking at sets in February yeah. or anything. So that said, Doc last year, dude, stats are just fucking ridiculous. 
he Tell had about them. 13 big chances. Yeah, so and he only finished two and a half. He only finished under, three of them. Yeah, he's two and a half under <laughs> his his non penalty xg. That's crazy. I mean, he plays fucking fullback, obviously, whatever. But thirteen big chances is so many big chances. So many, yeah. Thirteen. So many. Yeah, I mean, he 13. he bar- he barely plays fullback. I mean, no, yeah, he barely does. I mean, it's there's no one. Remotely There's one, close one to forward. That. One forward had 13 big chances. Ali McBurney. Love that. <laughs> like <laughs> Trent. Tr- like Trent had two big chances all year. Yeah, I mean Trent's not in the box. Doc is no, like. No, but, it's, but I'm just. It's like I know. I'm I'm supporting what you're saying. 13. It's like he makes the the he's the third attacker in the box, right? Like Jim is central and in the box. Then it's like either Jota or Adama. And then Doc is the third run, always. He's just like, he's so good, man. He's so good. 13? I just find it it's... difficult to go pay the 1.5 over Vinegar. Um, I, who, yeah, as I, of I, now, I, is nailed, but we don't know. Yeah, I like, I don't, I don't. I think yeah. that... Doc, so it's 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 coming back to that philosophy. Like, do you want to you know go with the cheaper defense, and then when you wild card, you get in the more like maybe. safe hands, yeah, maybe. and maybe that's what you do. But you know, I I'm trying to look at those things in isolation because whether or not you have one or, doesn't mean the other is not as good of an asset. Like, just right. because you have one Wolves defender doesn't mean that they're not going to keep the same amount of clean shots. Like, they don't right, know who's right, on right. your team. So, Doc, with like when you when I look at his stats. And I look at his last year, you know, he had four goals and the year before he had four as well. And like some more minutes and I don't have two years ago stats or whatever up here, but if he gets on the right side of luck a little bit, you know, he has like a seven or eight goal season and he's 200 that's points. Like, yeah. That's right. Like, I mean, and, so, and, and, and it's I real and it's real. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's real. Like the underlying support. <laughs> his stats are hilarious. Yeah. Actually. What the hell? Starting from the championship no, cr- in 16, 17. He's four goals, four goals, four goals, four goals every season. And his assists are four, four, five, three. He loves, so average well, he had, four goals, four assists on the nose last four seasons combined. Well, he had fantasy assists because so, he had seven and eight the last two years true, in FPL. Because he true, gets true, the true, rebounds true, true. and he gets the pen true. shit. So, but yeah, I mean, it's, but the same thing is with those underlings, like there's, there is more there. So I, I just, yeah, he's just a really good asset. He's a really good asset. Doc, so good. God, Fucking you're already Doc. talking me into just like absolute massive at the back. But this is the thing. Like we did this last year and it was a disaster. So I do think for that reason that starting cheaper at the back and jamming all the premiums and putting all the money in attack is very viable. It gives you some time to just like hopefully spike a couple things and then go back to the six pointers where you where you you know where they're gonna be. But mm, okay, this is trouble. It's hard. Yeah, it's a uh, bully, bully and Johnny. There was another. We don't need to talk about them. Yeah, they're both fine, but not really too interesting. The um, well, Johnny's not fine. He's dead. But <laughs> the other thing too is like we were talking about is the strategy you play is to not play six strategies. Like you got to pick one. So yeah. If you're doing the thing where you don't want to spend transfers in defense and you want to have it really safe, then you don't pick four fives at the back. Like you need to pick some like dyers and some or, or you have and trents and shit. Or you don't have a four zero alongside yeah. your four fives and yeah. have like a rotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, one of them premiums, will be okay or whatever, yeah, yeah, good yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you're if you're gonna do the thing where you know you're rotating the premiums you know it, you just have to pick your thing so that's that's the thing that's difficult oh you're doing my head in right now a little bit a mm, little bit a little bit okay because if we start doing like oh we're gonna pick all the good defenders and then it's game <laughs> week four and we're like 500k and we have one clean sheet from three game weeks from like doc or something we're like this is bad like go to four fives get the premiums and then we're like up oh, Doc starts getting the points right like that's what we they do like, that's what we clean so yeah, we need yeah. to talk about that in the future but Save that for yeah, later. Yeah, save that, save that, yeah. save that. Um, other premium defenders, Arsenal, Arsenal Louise, and Tierney. Tierney. Two. Eh. We, we said this earlier. It's like there's so many yeah. variables well, the, on Arsenal. We don't know their back line. We don't know the shape. Yeah. 
The the thing with him though is they have the full and West Ham double double dip one two. So if you're going for the super wild card game week three, which a lot of people are doing again, right? Why are people you know, wild card in game week three and not two? Well, City is play it Wolves. just because City have Wolves, but like yeah, I th- but United I think... have Palace, <laughs> so it's like no, no, yeah. So maybe I want they're gonna that. S- <laughs> yeah, maybe you're gonna spend one move to get a United player in oh, there I see, or something. I see, but... I see, I see, I see. It lets you skip Wolves and that's City right. for the first game, two game weeks, right. and then get it, you know. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's fair. Right. Okay. Yeah, but no, yeah, I, I mean, Tyranny might be fine. Fixtures are good. For two. Yeah. yeah, for those two, and then you, and then you dump them. Like, that yeah. could be fine. Yeah. TVA is um, hurt. Tarko, I don't need to talk about him. United guys. Maybe they're too expensive. They're at five. Of, I, yeah, I mean. Are you like 1B? I just thought that they'd be like six. Dude, we th- are you kidding me? We're on 40 minutes right now. Well, there's so many more defenders than the other positions, though. So I many guess. more. So many more. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen. <laughs> you, you people hours. come here for that, this fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I'm also <laughs> recording using a new program, so like my eyes are constantly like... I'm like looking at the program, making sure it's good. And it's very nerve-wracking. But yeah, I thought they'd come in at six. I mean, I... They obviously got better through the season, right? And these guys are nailed and going to play 90 every single match. And Juan, like, got some late assists and stuff. And, like, it's a problem that they have to have. But, you know, I don't know. They might buy guys. I think they're pretty decent. Honestly, think they're pretty decent picks. But there are five There are five guys, though. You, you go for the five guy. Um, Shaw, Shaw or Lindy. Whatever. Yeah, Shaw or Lindy. Or maybe Maguire will end up in Greek prison and never get out. And then we get... Lindy and Bai, and I love Bai's. So. Just don't call, don't call him a fridge, and <laughs> you fucking be fine. fridge, mate. <laughs> uh, Chef, you have expensive guys. We're not really interested, right? Yeah, I mean, I think you just want the center back. If you want a piece, yeah, if you, want you just go, go cheap. You go cheap. Yeah, you go I agree. Cheap. I agree with that. Um, and then Spurs. We mentioned the five O guys, which kind of nullifies like a Toby type, I think. But Ori is. Uh, Still good. Aria is, yeah, Aria is still very interesting to me. He but I don't, might get transferred, but I still don't understand kind of yeah. why. Why? Yeah, they don't have anyone else. So. They have no one else. They got rid of yeah. KWP. Um, I still just think he's sort of a trap in terms of the attacking like incentive. Why? That he's, because I think he's you think bad. the whole team... Oh, really? No, I think it's like Navas. Like, I watch him and I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't see it that way. I think he's pretty good going forward. I don't... I don't. I think he doesn't know where the ball. He's fucking head down. He just kicks it. He doesn't know. Yeah, where it's but going. he's also good at those like shots from the corner of the box and weird shit like that. And he's really good dribbling and really fast yeah. and like. No, yeah, he's he's got the intangibles. But for FPL, yeah. I, like I don't see him creating chances. I just see him dunking crosses to fucking dunk. You know, that's like fair. that's what he's do, yeah, does to me. Or, or Bednarek. Yeah. Yep. And when there's like Dyer at five, Davis at five, like I, I take that's uh, what kills that's it. The yeah. Thing. yeah, that's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Boy, at that's four defenders. Five. So we're 40. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Three minutes in, and we haven't talked about a single midfielder or forward, but uh, there's really not that many. There aren't that many. So, okay. This is fine, dog. This is fine. So, mids, should we just start with. Twelves, right? So OBS is twelve, Mane and Mo are twelve. There aren't that many, but there's so there's so much more to talk about. Like well, there's so much more. There is, but also Kev, Raz, Bruno, Rash, Mares, all blank. Yeah, but it's still it's still we still have to talk about it's still them. the things. Yeah, it's still we're not going to talk about them again. Yes. Yeah. 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 Until pencils down, pod. Oh God. Yeah. Oh my God. Need more time. Need more time. Um, <laughs> no, it's in a month. So Mo Mane. They're really good. Yeah. I don't think I need to say any more. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't really moved off Mo since since I started tinkering. Yeah, I've been on him. If you prefer yeah. Mane, I think it's kind of fine. I, I don't know. They're just really good. It's just the, the underlyings with the volume for Mo is, you know, and his the conversion rate. Yeah, and the pens. <sighs> Liverpool don't get pens. So they wear the wrong red. Who knows? Premier League to get the yeah. pens. Maybe this will be the year. They did get one. Yeah, when Stevie G, he had that one year, he had a lot. But, oh, um, my God. Yeah, 13, 14. He had, like, yeah. double digit. Um, Mo has the underlying volume that Mane just doesn't have. And Mo's conversion rate's been going down every year for the last three. 
which, you know, whether or not it's his true value or his true skill level or yeah, whatever, yeah. like I don't, I have no idea and I wouldn't pretend to know, but last season, this was the thing, right? I keep coming back to is like last season is the worst he could possibly do. And he like, Almost had the most points in the game. Yeah, and he was injured if, for like months. Yeah, and he missed. Yeah, yeah, he was he missed games, and he was knocked for a bunch of games, yeah. and his output was was suffering from that. So, like to me, he's like a twenty five ten guy. Like I think he probably yeah. is like has like six more goals in him or whatever. So like classic, I think that, like Jermaine O'Neal just like putting him up. and ten. Jermaine O'Neal, <laughs> deep, J-O, deep baby. breath. Right Derek's laughing school. right now. That's all I hey, care about. Serious. He was always on Derek or Don's fantasy NBA yeah. team, obviously. True, 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 true. Um, yeah, no, I mean, Mo, yeah. Or like uh, I mean, I agree. Now I'm thinking of 2010. Some people oh, really, grand. really don't like Mo, and they like Mane. And Mane is incredible and, you know, overperforms his finishing shit every year because he's just so good and so lethal. And I'm not going to, like, hate on that. No, That's I don't fine. Hate it. You know, what do you like, think about what do you think about Mane over Obs? Game one. Also fine. I mean, t- to be fair, I haven't spent much time looking at the fixtures. I know Obs has like god tier fixtures. Um, yeah, so they have Fulham, West Ham, and Liverpool have Leeds, Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. So they're definitely better, but Leeds is still probably a good fixture. Yeah, Actually, definitely a good fixture. It's Leeds good, are going to probably it's try not, and play the same way as Liverpool and get fucking But it's not Fulham West Ham, probably. No, it's not. No, it's definitely not. I mean, they play Chelsea. Like that's yeah, the yeah, toughest yeah, yeah. fixture of the four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you would you do that? Or do you think that's kind of like suicide because Obs is going to be way more owned and more captain? Like, and he's good and probably the best captain game week two. It's, and of any of these players, because it's home West yeah, Ham when they play you, Chelsea. I think you got to go Obs then. You got to go Obs there. Yeah, I, I came to that. Yeah, I, I was interested in the Mane yeah. thing. Yeah. We were talking. Some people were talking about it on Discord. I thought it was interesting, but yeah, I, I came to that also the, with OBS. The thing I, I've said this a million times, and Arsenal fans always get mad when I say it. But the thing, the one thing for me with OBS isn't like where he plays, whatever. Like I don't give a shit about that. His numbers have gone down for three or four consecutive seasons. Like, he way overperformed last season. Like, he never has in his life. Like, we we have enough information that we know he's not a, an above-average finisher. He's incredible at just getting a lot of chances. And so I do expect a lot of regression from him. He's old. His numbers are declining. He way overperformed. And Arsenal aren't that good attacking. So I could see that. Yeah, like, short-term, I think it's kind of ridiculous to argue... Mane over Obs, uh, Mane over Obs with those two fixtures, but like my outlook on Obs, I think is a lot lower than the majority of people that I'm seeing. But just like, that's, yeah, that's, no, I, that's I think he's bad. Rant. I think he's a bad. I think he's a bad pick, but I think he's definitely yeah. should be in the team for Game at Quan. Fulham, yeah. West Ham, then it Fulham goes are probably real. the worst team in the league. Yeah, I mean, competing they're with, in the bottom. Yeah, yeah. West Brom, whatever, but. Yeah. yeah, and then it goes, you know, they have at Liverpool, at City, two of the next three after that, so you don't want anything there. So, yeah, I, I, I think Ops is, I mean, that kind of covers Ops. is great for an early wild card guy or just like a planned transfer He's just, guy. Yeah, I think th- yeah. he was the big winner from the game week one blank, like if this oh, yeah, actually yeah, yeah, happens, yeah. that, you know, Ops was in no teams and now he's in every team because yeah, he's, he's just a placeholder. He's placeholder. 33% owned. Yeah. yeah, he's a placeholder. Yeah. yeah. So let's go over. We got Raz and Kev over at City. So what are we what are we looking at there? I don't know, man. We talked about them a lot, I think, on the price reaction pod. I liked your idea of like doing it by cap letting captaincy decide between the two. Whereas yep. me and you if they had a game week one fixture, me and you were kind of both nailed on Kuhn and we both prefer captaining Kuhn to Raz. And for that reason, maybe Kev is better than Raz because he's just our our cornerstone that we just keep all season but if you're looking to captain these guys which usually you are with 11 fives i prefer captaining raz so i would go him in that scenario but they're both great city are great they're gonna get a lot of points don't really need to say or think more than that right yeah i 
to me, I, it got me more interested in Kevin because the fixtures to me read like Kevin games to me. Like they're kind of the they're tougher games, you know. I I need to look into that because I need to look in if that's like a one season wonder or if that shit is real. But yeah, last season it seemed like he played further forward and got a lot more points in the tougher matches. Yeah, he and I don't know looked, if that's actually systematic or that just happened. He just looked. I test to me that he was more central and more pushed. Yeah, there was and, that there was that Arsenal game is the one that sticks in my head where he just legit was false nine. Yeah. And he, he got like a second quad striker. return or something. Yeah. 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 And you know, when I'm looking at these games and you know, we'll touch on Kuhn later, but you know, you want Kuhn in the home bankers and you want Raz in the away bankers. And they have like neither. They have no home bankers until Burnley game week 10, which is kind of a weird one, even though they did do them 5-0 with no fans the end of last year. And the only away bankers, I mean, Leeds, we don't know if that's an away banker, but they have West Ham. So they're just all tough. Like they're, they're Leeds, playing. Let me just interject on Leeds because I brought up the relegation odds on last pod. I was looking at um, the 538 as they're like, they have like the world rankings of every team. Leeds were 52nd. They were higher than like. I don't want. Why are we talking? (laughs) What? It's crazy. It's is do does Leeds own? Do people in Leeds own all of these companies? No. That that put these odds out. No, they're just actually projected to be that good. That's the dumbest thing of I've ever heard in my life. No, I think I don't actually know because I don't watch the championship. But I think the reason why is because every year since Bielsa has been there, they've been by the numbers, by far the best team in the championship. Like, not even remotely yeah, close. Know. This is the one year they got rel- they got promoted. So now... But, but yeah. to put them in the in the top 50 in the continent is fucking ridiculous. It's crazy. Yeah, Biel- It's just Bielsa things. I, I have okay. no other words. I don't know. Okay, so other than, th- other than that, you know, but th- <laughs> so the fixtures for City, right? There's at West Ham Gaming, si- gaming 6, which is like, that's a Raz, right? You're like, oh, that's Raz game. Yeah. But the other ones are just like Kevin could do yeah. between eight and fifteen and like any of the other ones. And yeah. I don't really want Raz or like Coon or you know, I mean I do like if you great, don't plan on if I have to pick one, them, then they're not value. Yeah, but like I would captain Kevin, you know, if leads are a little wobbly, like I would captain him at Leeds. I, I would captain Kevin home Arsenal, maybe. Like I would captain him at West Ham, like yeah. At Sheffield United, maybe like Liverpool, no. Like at Spurs, no. Probably, but you know, I don't. I don't know. I just, you, I like. I like Kevin a little. For the more early than I did period, I at the fixtures, it's weird. Dude. Like most of us will have wild carded by game week ten when their fixtures start easing up. Yeah. So what to do with them from game weeks one through nine is really interesting. Yeah, and that. Yeah, that, I think yeah, I think you're right. I, I mean, Leeds and West Ham are definitely. the only two. Like, I definitely want to captain a guy from City. Yeah. And all the others are really bad. Yeah. Although and Leicester, uh, Leicester deceptive Leicester, Leicester because Burnham, they are fun. good against every other team. But when they play Liverpool and City, they get fucking embarrassed and absolutely demolished. And that yeah, derailed that their whole game. season last season. That could be a Kuhn game. Like they, I think Liverpool beat them 4 0 and City beat them 5 0 in back to back matches when Leicester were like second in the league at their peak. Leicester suck. So that's a sneaky Coon game, game week three. Yeah, that, that's, I, I like that. I agree. I agree with the Leicester shout. Okay. So, but it's, it's, a, it's as tough of an opening run for City as I could have, if I was to draw it up, like this would yeah. be it. This is a, t- a tough run. It's like, yeah. It's tough. So, which is why I kind of, why I like Laporte. Mm, yeah, that's true. Oh, that's why I like yeah, Laporte I mean, you look at those too. fixtures from a clean sheet perspective. You like Wolves, you like Leicester, you like Leeds, Arsenal maybe, you like West Ham, you like Sheffield United, yeah. you like Spurs. Really never, like, yeah, yeah. Leans. Yeah, I like that. Um, Bruno and Rash. So Bruno and Rash, 10-5 and 9-5. We got question, two questions on them. Um, this one's long. Moo, Moo is Illuminati. He said, what's the oh argument for going Bruno? This is my boy, dude. You like him a lot? Yeah, well, he had those good questions last week. Oh, yeah, and the, with the Foden thing. for Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the argument for going Bruno over Rashford? Rashford is pretty much the same <laughs> stats with significantly higher non-penalty XG since the restart. 
and is cheaper and gets midfielder points this year. I'm admittedly biased against Bruno because it felt like he just kept hauling via sideways passes, but I think Rash is better avenues to points is maybe a thing, but are they really going to keep spamming penalties? Give us an anti-Bruno rant or why am I wrong? And then Haffy followed up and said, what are your thoughts on Bruno? Can't seem to wrap my head around him. Do I want him or not? A lot of action. A lot of a lot of vitriol towards Bruno Fernandez. What's I mean, going yeah, on with that? What's why? Is he ten five Milivojevic or is he fucking great? Um I mean I think he's a great pick. Like ten five for him is good. I get it when people are looking at the underlings and you know talking about regression like blah 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 this and that. It doesn't match up with what I watch in my from oh, my eyeballs so in my head. So like good. he's he's just an incredible player, and yeah, he's you know banging some direct frees and pens and shit, and he's not getting high xG chances in the box. But the thing that people seem to always forget is the xG stat is based on every player in the league getting chances from a specific spot. And Bruno Fernandez is not every player in the league. You know, he just like Kevin is not every player in the league. Kevin outperforms his XG because he's one of the best players in the world. Bruno is to me when I watch him in that category of he's gonna do better than what the underlying say in perpetuity. And you know, I know his you know his underlings were really bad. Like the last four, like okay, bro, like he played ten games with three days off or two days off between them yeah. for three months before the last four. Like yeah, yeah, I get yeah. it, he had two shots and, like, fine. and cups and all that shit yeah, too. It's, with it's it. yeah, yeah. what? I, okay, cool. Like you, you're smarter than everyone. Like that's great. He's gonna do really badly. But when you watch United play, he's just in and around a lot. And you know, yeah, yeah. he's got directs and directs pens and. Pens are sustainable for United. We every single fucking year they get yeah, at least X every year. It's I was not gonna say a that chance. too. It's not like a thing that just happened last season and oh their yeah. players started going down and getting calls. It's like, no, they're they're training to do this. And yeah. it just happens every year. So just don't per, don't pretend like it's like some weird anomaly. Like and I, I said this I think on the last pod, or maybe uh, maybe it was on Discord or something, but like if in our heads we're banking 10 penalty goals, around 10 for Bruno, then, like, he should be on every team. That's insane. We're saying, like, he's starting with 10 goals because he doesn't miss pens. Oh, yeah, he's good at them. Yeah, 10s, 10s. That's conservative for Manchester United. No, you're right. I mean, yeah, <laughs> like, they had, what, they have 15 last year or yeah, something? they broke the record or that they or set the year yeah. before. Yeah, no, I, I yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I think Bruno's a really good pick. He's he's the one that's like the most difficult for me because he means you sacrifice somewhere else. And, you know, mm. it's either not having a city captain option or not having Mo. Right. Or, you know, you don't have Werner, Werner. What are we gonna say with him, by the way? It's fucking pisses I me off. Enjoy saying Werner. Werner. So I'd like, we I'd just like do that. Werner. Yeah, just all right, Werner. All right. all I need the way. to just I see the W and I'm like, oh, I'm American. So I say, yeah, well. yeah exactly. <laughs> oh, it's like Warner Bros. I get it. <laughs> I got it. I get so, it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I but yeah, Bruno 10 5 just. I thought he was going to be 11 5. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think he's underpriced. He's underpriced. I just think I he's think. underpriced. Yeah. yeah, I think he's just underpriced. Yeah, I mean, like, I you would mistake. prefer the underlines, obviously, to be better. That's a thing. Yeah, you he's prefer also, Rash as underlines, but you yeah. don't prefer your player to fucking suck, which is who Rash is. <laughs> and also, he, like you said, he played 90 or 120 in every game with two or three days off nonstop. He was also bought in January. Like, he's new. He just got, the he team. Just got there. He literally just got there. And he's on pace for 300 points. Everyone's trying to find the problems, and there's yeah, no yeah, problems. Yeah. He's so good. yeah. yeah, yeah. No, he's just so, he's just great. Like he's just. Well, let's go to Rash. I I'm honest. I'm not surprised because everyone's a Manchester United fan in the world. But nine five. Like, are you kidding me? Like, how is that good? How is he good? I, like, I get it. Okay, maybe he looks good for a game, and then he's good for like three games, and then think, he's fucking bad for I two think months. The but midfield points people are banking in, like baking that in a lot, and he'd be on in a lot more points, um, I mean, I especially with their their an cleans. extra ten points. No, they're well. I mean, he scored 17 not gonna get, goals. We got 31 bonus last year. He's probably going to get like 
18 now. So, yeah, yeah. I, right? Clean, like, that's cleans and goals. Big. Yeah, I, I don't know how Dude, to do the math anyway. He but had like, fucking six pens last year. Like, he's going to have maybe one that's this year. crazy. If you bin six goals off his 17, he's like 11, 7. Like, I think that's more true value for me. That's to him. crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, I think he's probably around like an 11, 10 player. Like, maybe he hits 15 when he doesn't, but like, Maybe he takes another step forward. He's still young. Okay. But I, I see a very inconsistent raw player when I watch yeah. him. I, I, every yeah. game is like either he's completely wasteful and he should get subbed at halftime or he's unplayable. And then he fucking donkeys his finishes and he's right. still not getting points. And he's been un- he was, under XG every season except one. Yeah. Um, it's just. Where he played a lot of minutes. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. No no, I, mean, I, I don't get 9-5, dude. 9-5? The thing I don't get <laughs> is that Tony's 9 um, better, so much better. He's Not just close. better in like literally every way. Like plays the preferable position, better at actual football, better at scoring. Like he's just better in every way. That's what I don't. That's what I really don't get. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm not too interested in Marcus. I'm, I mean, I'm so uninterested in Rashford. I'm very happy that people are interested in him. Yeah, yeah, very inconsistent. Um, who else do we have? Son, Pulisic, and Mares. Son. So, like, that's another, right, we just talked about Rashford. In what fucking world is yeah. Rashford 0. 0.5 better than Son? It's in, yeah, that's, that's insane. That's, that's insane. Actually bonkers. It's just, it's, that's, that's not a possibility, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Son's okay. I mean, they, they have a good opening run. I, I, they do have the qualifying, which is a little bit concerning, and and their opening run from an attacking standpoint isn't great. You know, Everton, yeah, we're, we're great. pretty tight. And, you know, Southampton's going to be probably a tough game. And United in game week four, they have Newcastle game week three, which is great. And then, you know, it's it's whatever. But, yeah. again, when you have the, the City and Manchester United teams blanking, you know, I'm seeing Kane and Son in more teams than before, you know. So I don't have too much of a problem with Son. I, I just I just don't love paying the premium for the Mo. For the Mo. Mo. The Moo guys, yeah. The Moo, the Moo guys. I I haven't made my mind up with Spurs. I don't know what they're about. Like I I need to look back at that at the project restart to see what changed when Sun and Kane started scoring all the goals. Like did they yeah. go to four four two? Like where was Sun playing? I need to look back at all that shit. I just haven't wrapped my head around it yet. But yeah, I like Sun, I like Kane at the price. Um Kane's an easy swap Ollie. to like Coon or whatever. Um, Ollie's the thing that I was like, chat. I, I didn't get any hits on in Discord, but I was like trying to remember, or ask, yeah. like, where were they playing when Ollie was in? Because I don't think yeah. it was very many games that all three of them started. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. And then Ollie but, was like mysteriously dropped. I don't know. Yeah, just didn't play after the restart. So, yeah, that, that's something that I'm yeah, confused that, about. That's a thing. He might end up being the guy out of all three of them. Um, uh, yeah, definitely could see that. Because if Sun does actually go wide to provide width and create yeah, chances, normal, and Ollie's the support striker exactly. to be getting the Sun passes, exactly. which is it makes sense in my head of right. how I would probably make the team. Right. I but, mean, that's I mean, whether a that happens normal or not, I don't move know. team is four two three one. The double pivot holds. One of the two wingers is further forward. That would be Sun in this case. The other guy's like the work rate, the workhorse, like Lucas or uh, Bergwijn. And then support striker and striker have to basically score all the goals. Yeah. Os- Oscar and fucking Diego Costa all over again. Dog, so like dog face Gabo baby. Yeah. So and I mean I always wanted Oscar, so that makes sense why I like Ali. Yep. Yep. Could be good. Um, Two eight fives, and then we're gonna go to forwards. Yeah. So we got a question on Pooley. Jack said, "Could Pulisic be the Chelsea asset to own?" I like this perspective. I haven't done the research to follow it up. He said, Ziyech's curling passes from the right side of the box tend to go to the left winger. Left winger Tadic scored 28 in 18-19, while Huntelar at striker scored only 16. And then in 19-20, Tadic moved to striker. Goals dropped from 28 to 11, while Ajax's top score was again the left winger, in this case, prom- Promise. Um, Quincy. So that's a deep, deep dive. Is that yeah? Jack like Gaines? that's really interesting. I need to look Sign up like up. A, a, com- up. a compilation of ZH and see if if that's where all of his assists actually go. Like sort of a trend trajectory of like the the far post crosses or whatever. Because if that's the mm-hmm. case, that could be something to build on. To be honest, um, yeah, yeah. But as I, of now, Pulley still hurt, right? I mean, yeah. Well, he's still hurt, so that's a thing. But yeah. I, regardless of where ZH puts his fucking magical crosses 
Well, is it just fucking out of control stats? So I test main so man. Yeah, I I think Chelsea's where to put your money. Like they're what United were last year. Like they're just underpriced. Their attacks underpriced and. They're going to definitely be the third best attacking team, if not second best. I can see them having better attacking stats than Liverpool next season because they're yeah, all they're going to do that. is attack. They're not going to just coast for like 20, 30 minutes yeah, when yeah. they're up 3 0, like Liverpool, you know? So, oh, and they, I, yeah, they're going to concede think, too. <laughs> like, they're yeah, going to be. They're going to have to score. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I think Pulisic definitely. Pulisic he's, definitely. He's so good, man. He's, he's just so, so good. good. He's, you, I mean, you, we watch the games when he plays yeah. and it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, holy yeah. shit. He had 17 returns. He's getting fucking a return every 100 minutes. Like, that's elite 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 level and he yep. was a little baby boy in, in the league for the first time so yep. you know the, the thing with him is the little hamstrings and his little calves and his little tendons and muscles a little baby, yeah he needs yeah, like a little, little baby bitch he needs to figure out how to work that shit i don't know yeah he needs a gallon of milk a day type of like bulking shit he needs he needs to talk to bruno he needs steroids get that bruno get that bruno milk. they even test for steroids in footy? like he just needs steroids straight up Anabolics. Yeah, yeah could, just could get do. in there. You know, both our minds. Both Amer- you know, get get some get some air out situations. Yeah, I mean messy fucking human growth hormones is thighs. Like, let's get in there with bullets. Like, um, some fucking horse placenta. Yeah, I mean whatever you need to do. But yeah, he's great. He's injured for now. There's some cheese. Get Felix McGath. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's Rub thinking some outside the it. fucking That's... box right there. <laughs> Love to see that. All right, Mares. Um, Mares. So yeah, I mean, he's very interesting. I another guy that I sort of just haven't wrapped my head around yet. Like, I, I, is he the first choice right winger? Probably. No idea. No idea. Probably, but don't know. Probably, maybe not. Could be I Bill. Think, could yeah. be Foden. Could be Fernan Torres. Could be fucking. Raz, who knows? Ed. Yeah, I, I think Mars is a fine pick. I just yeah, think probably. I think it's fine. I think he's fine. I mean, you, you're not gonna want him gimmick one and like Wolves. You're not like targeting. Oh, I gotta get Mars in immediately. But I, but I it's think kind in of general, nice to like if you're item, like, you could if you're him. not going like Raz Coon or something in those first yeah. ten game weeks where they have rough fixtures. <laughs> It might be kind of nice <laughs> to just like Mars it up or something like that and just be like, yeah, I'm going to get some city points. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I haven't wrapped my head around it, to be honest. No, I, I'm, I haven't really thought as much about Mars as other yeah. players in the game yet, but yeah. eight, five seems okay. And I'm yeah. sure he's going to, we're going to all own him at least once at some point this year. Nailed. On. Nailed. Nailed. Nailed on. Nailed he's on. like an STD. He just spreads. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> okay, forwards. Um might as well just start with Kuhn because we're just talking about City. So yeah, these these fixtures are a bit problematic, huh? I guess a lot of people are probably going off him. Especially with yeah, the blank. Well, the, you know, the blank for sure. But the, the main thing is the home bankers are where Kuhn puts up twenty five points. You know, like they, sometimes he does do it. Like at Newcastle, you'll see once in a while he pops up with love, some love mad game. Yeah, love, yeah. He loves playing St James Park, but yeah, yeah. the fixtures are not pretty reading for Kuhn. You know, the he, tough he, games that are going to be physical and and against like those those tough just tough teams aren't the ones normally where he he flies. You know, he had a. Hattie away Villa last season. He had to, he he puts up some big away performances, but it's just not as consistent, I guess. But against bad teams, and they don't really. Mm-hmm. I, again, I don't know what leads mm-hmm. are at all, but they have yeah. at West Ham, and other than that, they don't have a good away fixture until game week fucking thirty or whatever. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, dude, they're the Wolves tough. Leicester, we talked about that. Maybe not that tough. Leeds at Leeds, don't know, don't know. Yeah, Arsenal at West Ham, great. Then at at Sheffield United, home Liverpool, at Spurs, home Burnley, right? Like, that that's just not great. Yeah. In my head, he's just, I don't care that much about the fixtures. No, I de- but yeah. no I'm, I'm talking, yeah. trying to talk no, myself it go, out No, it goes of it, back to, I, like, a sort of strategic thing of, like, what route are you taking? Are you going to yeah. be swapping out your premiums in and out based on runs, based on captaincy yeah. and that stuff? Yeah. 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 If yes, then Kuhn is you don't not Kuhn at all. in your no. team. Not for a long time. Not for not a while. Not to, like, home... Then it's like 10, 11, when it's home Burnley, home Fulham. You're like, okay, I'm going to get him and captain for those two games. Right, right. And then it's home West Brom 13. Like those those three games and those four, like that's when you want him. Yeah. 
But then there's plenty of other strategies of like, do you want to just hold Kuhn because he's value and like swap around your 8 million midfield spot yeah. and just hold Kuhn? Then that's fine yeah. too. And also and fine. He is underpriced. So that's good. Yeah. But yeah. I think, I think that's both the right. Um, yeah. E. Lee asks, with, with decent fi- early fixtures for both Spurs and Leicester, do you like Kane or Vardy as a placeholder for the blank with an eye on bringing in Kuhn by three or four? Kuhn or, I guess, sub in like anyone if you want to, if you're really swapping hard. I mean, there you, you, we could talk for 20 hours and you won't tell me that Kane and Vardy are worth the price over Ings or Jim. Like, I don't have yeah. that in my, I don't have time for that. So you know, I think the that only way would be captaincy. It's the only way. Which you're not captaining them. Like that's where I, you have I Mo could and captain, Hobbs, you know? I could captain Kane home Newcastle, Kane home West Ham. But like, he's talking you're you're talking about jumping off three, right? Oh right, right, right. This is the spot. Three. He said for the three city. or four. Yeah, he said three or four. Yeah, but this is the spot for the City United guy. So it's yeah, like you're not captaining Kane home ever general away Southampton, no. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I'm seeing Kane and Vardy in teams. I, I love to see that. Absolutely love to see that. I think that Ings and, and Jim are just the same player on better teams, maybe. Mm. Maybe Jim. I regret that I said that. <laughs> on, <laughs> uh, damn it, I missed your face when you said it. I, I need, can't wait to watch back and see your face on better teams. Not not necessarily better, but just the price. Like I just, it's yeah, like yeah, two yeah. mil. Like yeah. you know, not. It's just not for me. But I as think, a placeholder, those guys don't fill that. But role. dude, but then but then you're looking at the double swap, right? Like you got give me Ings or Jim and Son instead of Kane and Vardy and fucking like William. Like I don't know, all those players are fucking shit ass. You know. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So I'm fine. I'm totally fine. But I'm yeah. fine with either, and you're you prefer that one a lot. But I'm. Well, I mean, we're also talking about Kane and Vardy, who are like your like, enemy who, number who one and two. About? Yeah, <laughs> one boner, and one boner and number B. one and two. Yeah. Right there. I, I couldn't hate players like so much. I hate them both so much. Yeah. So yeah, that's a bad bad time to get an unbiased perspective. But yeah, I think I think both of those Every options are reasonable. Every perspective I have is biased. Oh my god. That's true. Relax. That's true. Um, the nine fives, Jesus, no, um, Bob, no. Bob ridiculous overprice. No. And then yes, Timo please. nine five has been nailed in both of our teams since day one. So basically it tells you all that you need to know 30, there. Chelsea have nice fixtures. 38%. That's annoying. Uh, Is our pod getting too popular? Did we convince people to get on him? <laughs> right? No, I th- I think you know even though it's, it's a high ownership, it's still it's going to be a great experience. I'm so excited. I'm excited for the Timo experience. Yeah. I would like it if Chelsea stopped buying like really likable, awesome guys. We were talking about that. I prefer hating them. Yeah, that's why Chilwell saving us. Yes. Oh well, don't forget. They're yes. <laughs> buying, they're buying I just Chilwell. got so happy. Man, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Wow, great job by them. Um, okay, and then there's Martial at nine, Locke eight five, Ings eight five, Jim eight five, and okay. And then so we're I before we go to Ings, Jim. So Martial, let let's talk about Martial for for a few minutes because we're we're short anyway, so it's fine. We're running short. Nine, great price, great player, great great price, great pick. I love love it, love it. Great pick, actually, great, great pick. pick. He's it's a great pick. He's so good. Last season, and I think is he's finally had his breakout season. I think, and that's a floor. I think to me. Um, yeah, you could sell me on that. It did seem like they got a lot better through the season when Paul got fit and when Bruno came. So that yeah, it seemed like they were better when they had all the good players. So when they start the season with the good players and they have that for thirty eight, then he yeah. should be better as well. He's he's good. So good and gets like no respect. I feel like. Like again, Rash when is they nine, Rash him, is nine five. Tony's nine. Rash is more expensive. It's ridiculous. Like that's comical to me. Comical. It's sort of offensive. 
I'm not like offended he, because nothing that the play the the few people who work for the company make the prices do offends me because it's so wildly inconsistent. I mean, last year Rashford had the most open play goals or non penalty goals of his career at eleven. Tony just shat out seventeen, and he's like upside upside it's galore. Not, it's it's just not it's not close. like twenty plus seems pretty likely. He could. Yeah, I mean, he could do a 25. I mean, he's yeah, he good could enough. do a 25. He he's, a 20. What is he, fucking 24 or something? He's, How old is he? 25? I don't know. Yeah, somewhere around there. But he's, They bought him when he was 19 or something? He's, he's another, like, years. maybe he's underpriced because injury prone, because he is Tony after all. But, like, that one season where he plays 3,200 minutes, like Ings' season last season, he could just get score 25. Oh my god, I, my windows are all fucking out of sorts. I'm 25 trying, and 24, 10? 24, he's 24 years like old. He could 25 and 10 if he has a magical fit season all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah, I... He's an elite finisher. That's, we have the numbers to back that. He's been that. The thing that's annoying about it, that's like pl- plaguing me, is that I'm used to him being like so cheap. <laughs> so, I know. Like I'm used to him being 8 or 7, 5, you know? I'm used so to now United that he's being actually dog nine, shit. Yeah, and now that he's actually nine and like playing in the same league as all the other big boys, I'm yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. more reticent to pay it. I know, but he's nine. Good, good, very good pick, and very he's good. just not being. I feel like in the community, you know, us like hardcore players like aren't talking about him enough. And I, I think he's yeah, he's a really, really good. Me pick. and Late Riser connect on Tony. Like we have a little Tony finish together. Oh yeah, well there he'll, you go. He'll just That's at good. he'll just at me in Discord and it's just like a gif of Tony scoring. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, what up? <laughs> Love Tony. <laughs> um yeah, great pick. Absolutely great pick. Not not in nearly enough teams. So what know. do you think about with Bruno's situation? Like, are you are you thinking like, okay, I could do Tony and be okay with that Bruno, or it's just irrespective, doesn't matter, one or the other? Um, they're both really good. They're both good. Yeah. Is Bruno gonna outscore Tony by one and a half million? That's a Tony's lot. Really good. That's a big That's ask. A lot. Tony's really good, dude. That's a really big ask. 1.5. I mean, we're talking about that's the difference between Trent and a 6.0 or fucking, you know, Mo and a 10.5. Like that 1.5 is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. So Ings and, and Jim, right? This is yeah, why we don't need to talk also, about Locker. Is Locker still looking like Lou Van or is there I don't, update? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, whatever. Or, I, fucking, he's a piece of shit. This is also why I. Like Tony, to me, when I look at him compared to Ings and Jim, is just insane that it's like a 0.5 difference because Ings and Jim are like doing their peak yeah, and this Martial's is doing his floor and they're almost the same price. Right. And Tony has more to go, right? Like, right, right, right. It makes yeah, 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 Ings yeah. and Jim so much less attractive to me. Yes, I agree. I fully and agree. And. Yeah, I, I still think Jim is good. I think at eight, I think five both is of fine. them are still actually pretty good. Like both yeah, Ings I, and Jim I don't are like, like reasonable. Yeah, I, I don't like Southampton's opening fixtures. Oh, at I haven't all. looked. I haven't looked. They have at Palace, home Spurs, at Burnley. Very bad attacking fixtures. Annoying. All three yeah, of those kind of are annoying. Very, very bad. Yeah. And then home West Brom. Like okay, game week four. Like we could talk. And then they get a little better. But those first three are really bad for that attack. Palace so. is not that bad. For attack, it is. I, mean, I don't think we let more than two up really all year. You know, we want Yeah, but we they're better clean, away. Clean. And like. But we're I, just, you know the, that we're just parked and tight, you know. No, I mean, that's absolutely. not going to be like. Uh, systematically, it's going to be difficult. But I think yeah. game week one, we're looking at no PVA, no Gaza, maybe no Tompkins, maybe, Gaza. maybe no Sacco. Maybe Tompkins. Yeah, so maybe we might be looking at bad. like we might be looking at like okay. Ward, maybe Kelly, as, yeah, 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 Sacco, yeah, 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 yeah. Mitchell. All right. All right. And I'm like, maybe that's, that's really not bad. as bad. Yeah. Maybe that's not as that's as, not as bad of a fixture as it could be in game week 15. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But either yeah. way, I'm just you know I'm I'm just when we're, you I'm know okay you. obviously Marshall doesn't play game week one so he's gonna get less points than Ings unless Ings misses a penalty you know I could do that but. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, Engs and Jim, yeah, you know, still okay. Yeah. But Mar- Marsh, dude, Marshall's nine's underpriced. He's just underpriced. He should have probably been ten. Yeah, I mean at least nine I think, five. Yeah, I think ten. I think ten. I think ten would have been fair for him. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just tinkered him into my team. It feels yeah, really good. It, it should have. It should have been ten. Um, <laughs> Jim's uh, good though. Jim's yeah, still good. They're both really and, and this, solid this and consistent. Was, and it's like yeah. again for me, it goes back to the strategic thing that you mentioned before. Yeah. It's what do you feel most comfortable doing? What do you think is the best route? What do you prefer to do? You can hold Jim and be. Just so positive that you're never going to have to use a transfer on that spot, which you no. cannot say about Tony, and you probably can't say about Ings either. No, absolutely. So that's strate- will get that's hurt. a strategic will probably get hurt. team shape thing of, of yeah. like whether you want Jim or not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the one thing, too, though, with Wolves is they don't have Europa this year, which is really good for them. That is really good for them. What did Jim play? I mean, play? they were doing the Thursdays. How many minutes did Jim play last season? Probably like 5,500. Actual 5,000. Yeah. God, they're going to run him. He's fit. He's a very fit boy. I'm looking it up. But um, that's it player-wise. We have some questions. We could just also not do questions. Oh, well, what do you got? Let's see what we got. We're good. Yeah, we're good on time. Ozzy, what do you think about starting with 0.5 or more in the bank to finance an early aggressive move? Just finance it with zero in the bank and minus four points. Easy. Easy <laughs> I, think game. It's, I think it's fine, but like. I hate it. I fucking hate it. I that personally game. hate it. I hate it. But I, I don't hate it. hate it from a strategic standpoint. I hate it because it, it displeases me. I hate it from both standpoints. Okay. I don't think it's strategically wise. I don't think you. I just think the best team is never the hundred million team anyway. Obviously fucking Eric Peters is on the dream team of the week. Like it's okay, but you don't want to be starting Ferguson when you could be starting vinegar, you know, like you don't want to be starting. No, I feel you. I feel you. So I just, dude, yeah. put the fucking pick the players who are expensive. It's a very and, weird start to the season with most likely the Manchester team's blanking. And if it uh, allows you some very nice tidy thing, I don't fuck. Like if you're going to do a move, Right after kickoff, before the debt, like after yeah, the deadline, yeah. and that point five is like yeah. okay, like I had Ings and I'm getting Martial, like I'm keeping point five in yeah. the bank and I'm doing yeah. it before the game start, like okay, fine, but yeah, that, that's kind of what I'm saying to be honest, yeah, but that's not that's a nuts, but okay, but otherwise in those corner cases, it's just you want to be able to because then you're also assuming that that money gets you an easier way to buy someone who's price rising but then you're talking about like if you have a seven million midfielder and the guy who's price rising has to be between seven and seven five like and if he's seven you just do it for free so like you have to be in the point five above yeah. and do it uh, right. it's like, a, that's so it's fucked a up, rare you know? case yeah for sure yeah um rory there was some talk in the last pod about guys that are egregiously underpriced like Werner and coon you seem like exactly the sort of guys Marshall. you should be aiming to get early. Martial, yeah. Trent. Dude, we apart- missed Martial. Really missed him, honestly. Apart from the two above and Trent, is there anyone else catching your eye with their underpricing? So, yeah, we mentioned those guys. I, like, I Honestly, I don't know. I totally miss Martial. Like, I, I didn't really think about much. him. Until yeah, yeah. we like, until there was like, oh, pod, like premium, like, let me look at Kind of why we do the, these pods, though, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it opens our eyes to like, Alice, Guys Brighton, within Spurs, the same Newcastle, tier. Chelsea, Arsenal, ever like the like every game, I'm like he could score in all these games. Yeah, I mean, like, it was the thing I got most right in the entirety of last season. Probably it was like just going with him from the restart, and he was just so good. Yeah, I had him at the beginning of the year. Yeah, when they were bad, you had him at the restart. Yeah. Together, you, you, we're bad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and for that reason, we're bad. <laughs> Uh, is there anyone else that like immediately caught your eye underpriced? Um, well, we talked talk about Laporte. Laporte, that's um, a good one. I mean, I'm like so hyper focused on the premium, so I don't know. Like maybe next pod when we're doing the other one. Yeah, I'll we'll kind of just some... do it as we go. I think. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Other, I mean, we talked about like Foden, Greenwood, etc. But um, yeah, 
No, I think that that's it he, for I can. Hecon Jim said the general consensus on Reddit slash FL community is to play three five two or four five one. Tell me stack. more about Reddit. Yeah, I know. With a stacked midfield, dirt cheap strikers. Do you guys think it's just another big at the back like last year that went out the window? What or? is you, like dirt cheap strikers is a thing. People are like just going fucking no Antonio idea. and Dwight Gale. Is that really what's happening? I have no idea. Gale Bamford. No idea. <laughs> There's, I mean, between Kuhn, Kane, Vardy, Werner, Can we just skip this Tony, question? Ings, and Jim, like those are all, you can have at least three players from that pool for the whole year and the, get points. The all bottom year. line for this question is that you and I don't think that there's one single right answer. Okay. Right? That's, yeah, I, I, those are fine. Whatever. I'm sure there's teams that will start that way and do well. There's also do, teams I, that will I, I do, do other things. Gale in, I do have Gale in my current. I t- obviously <laughs> have Gale. Are you kidding? I do. I do. I, I obviously have I, Gale. I to Gale. <laughs> Dude, my team is stacked. Dude, Gale. Gale's good. Gale's egregiously underpriced. He should have been like eight. I have five. good fixtures. Gale's just good. I hate how he su- he subs him every game. Though. He's just I good. That. He's six, and he just scores regularly. And, like, he's just good. In the first minute, too. Yeah. Against <laughs> the fucking champs. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, Jeff D, armed with the fixture list. How do you go about prioritizing which premiums you want to start with and which ones you'll swerve? Can you talk broad strokes about how much things like fixture difficulty, home slash away, preseason form, rest, stats, social media... <laughs> social media presence factor into your decision making. And did we kind of just do that or is there more to it? Uh, I mean, there are more factors like some, some trolley and Mimi, but in yeah. general, I, I think the captaincy plays a big role yeah, right? to, to make sure like if, if OBS didn't have that second home West Ham when, when Liverpool are playing Chelsea, I wouldn't have OBS for sure. There's no way. But like that's enough of a deciding factor for me to be like, okay, he's gonna be the one over Kane, or he's gonna be the one over, yeah, you know, Vardy or Mane, you know. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. it's there, there are obviously always so many factors, and choosing which one's the most important to you is is subjective. You know, there's no correct or incorrect answer to that ever. Um, other than Vardy's like really bad or Kane sucks, but other than those <laughs> things, you know, it's about you to distill like the most important things and. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think we've kind of touched on a lot of that, but yeah, it's always some weird combo. Yeah, it's always a weird combo. Yeah. yeah, I want. I almost want Jeff to ask that again for like the Patreon pencils down pod because then I want to be because then I'll have like more of a firm grasp of like this is probably similar to what my game week one team will be, and that's when I want to reanalyze like how why I'm choosing one over the other or something. <laughs> For now, it's it's harder. But yeah. Um, and then last question, Henners. For those who want Chelsea and Spurs coverage, would you rather Kane and Ziyech or Werner and Son, both at eighteen point five? Well, we have a problem with this question because it has a word that we don't talk about on this podcast. <laughs> coverage doesn't yeah. exist. Coverage. Do you want players that you don't think are better than other players because you're scared? No. Right, right, right. Not, not really. That said, I like a lot of players in this question. Yeah, no, so. that's fair. So, so who do you like between the two, I guess? Were one of the choices Werner and Ziyech? No. That's my answer. Yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. cool. That's it for cool. questions. Delete that cool. one. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Okay, cool, cool. cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, that's it, bro. I think that's a wrap. Anything else you want to talk about, yeah. or should I slap asses? Um, I mean, the Discord's been great, very great, very happy if with you, the move, happy with the the scenes. Yeah, I mean, if you're kind of lonely and you're like us, and you just <laughs> want some new friends, you know, everyone there is always there, all over the world. It's always happening. It's like a chat room. Yeah, it's like a chat room. Great. So if you want to hang out more. It's really expensive. It's like a cup of coffee a month. Yep. So join, please. 
Great job. Great promo. That said, we got a bunch of new signups. We get we get so many in the preseason before everyone like deletes and deletes their team and lives. But let me go through, slap all the asses. We got Will Quigley, Fatty, Big Boy, Jonathan Hanks, Alan J. James Gildia, Matt Kaminsky, H.J. Chin, Silas Bartlett, Mark Ryder, Sebastian Sui, Fionn McPeak, Henry Kramer, Stephen Rudden, Tom Toeski, Luke Jones. Get the fuck in there. Slap the ass. I think that's it, bro. Any last words? We didn't talk about more prizes for the prize Fuck. league. I think Fuck. we should just go three mugs for top three. That's so insane, but I might be down. I think we need to open the floodgates and you want more horizons. mugs in, in the wild. I think people like the mugs. Like people like the mugs, and we have more people every year, so it's harder to there win every so year. There's so many people in that fucking league. Like I don't understand we've how people never get finished, on the first page. Yeah, we've never finished even remotely close. I think if you, I think if we had top three like that, I think three. I think that that's fine. I think three mugs is fine a month. We do like fucking nine mugs. Like if we had yeah. twenty five mugs, yeah. thirty mugs, yeah, that's reasonable. Okay, we're doing it. We're it's not. We're, we're fucking it's doing not, it. We're doing it. So, so prize tier league mug. Should we do a three. cheeky, like, different mug for the top three? It says, like, number one, number two, number three or something. Yes. I kind of love that. <laughs> we are definitely going to do that. <laughs> so we'll amend, we'll amend them from, I think, can we change it each month so it says the actual month? Yeah, we could do whatever we want. Yeah. Yeah, that's, okay. We're going to oh, get a good. little good. Yeah, it could be, like, September 2020. Yeah. COVID, like, LOL. Yeah. Third whatever. place, yeah. Oh, that's Bronze, great. Bronze, cock level, silver. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. That's okay. a good idea. We're doing that. Okay. We're doing it. So it's official. So this year, top three in the prize league get more custom Top three mugs. every month. We do it monthly, the so the same place... people aren't always winning every fucking, yeah. Yeah, we reset each month. The first place one, though, I think we should do nothing. I think it should be the original current month. Yes. The second OG and third get mug. some, no, yeah. Second and third have some like blemish on it. I think it would oh, be wait, really yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, we talked about that, right? Like it was when I did the Twitch emote that was like illegibly bad. Yeah, it's like that could be like the mug that's like for <laughs> the third font, place or something. The font's like so big. Yeah, it's just like two O's or yeah, something. Yeah, it's just <laughs> fucked up mug. It's just totally <laughs> fucked up. The colors are wrong and stuff. <laughs> Okay, so that, that'll be a good job. I That's guess. good. I like that. Okay. All right, check okay. us out at fmlfield.com. Follow us on Twitter at fmlfield. Sports at slash fmlfield. Subscribe, rate, review, turns.